kind of they kind of it's like jet and spike want to make ends meet you know like they they aren't going you know by like the depressed characters that they were in the anime here they are actually like striving to make ends meet like fuck we need to do this job or else we are going to die hungry or some shit but they are like ah fuck we need to do a job well yeah. shit we need, we are we're going to do so this job really, like, going to fucking jazzy, die well like, fuck yeah, it, yeah 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 mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah but, but, but okay see so that's the biggest problem i had with the live action which mm-hmm. is that the actual tragedy of cowboy bebop is nowhere to be found okay so let me let me quickly tell you say let me catch you up to a couple uh-huh. of things and then we'll uh, i i know what you're thinking i'm going to do it don't worry but yeah so julia is there from the start in the live action she is married okay. to vicious and vicious That's is apparently okay. abusive towards her okay and she's the one who encourages vicious to take matters into his own hands and end the elders the, the frail folk loses is one of the best anime endings of it all is. time it is it the is. best anime For ending sure. of all time yeah. maybe maybe get back us is, is like equal but i don't know i'm not sure about that it's yet it's good but yeah it's up there yeah but basically julia is a, a very big character in this they did not want to make julia the whole oh love interest that two people are fighting over type of thing hmm. so they uh, and or do, you, do you mind uh, do you mind spoilers for the ending yeah i don't mind so guys spoilers if you don't want to listen here's your uh, warning spoiler alert but yeah julia turns out to be the secret brains behind the whole thing and vicious was actually just a little uh pawn oh, in her plans yes. and she should oh. spike in the end and he falls through a window and dies not sure if he actually yeah. dies because there might be a season 2 apparently so julia is julia the big bad the oh, yeah so they changed up like everything they changed a lot of things yeah altered timeline like same show anymore yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely well, see mm-hmm. they do meet ayn and they, they don't really meet ed to the random otaku is just like going so. crazy because <laughs> like what <laughs> really what yeah and uh, tons of things change through yeah things. it's it's like an altered time like it's like an alternate universe for cowboy bebop basically mm. no yeah it just like things, things went differently changed, yeah. yeah it's it's like you know a time traveler went back and a butterfly flapped its wings and now to the wrong direction yeah. no vicious so kill spike the... yeah so julia in the live action shoot spike apparently i haven't watched it myself i was reading mm. up about it to get a better opinion and uh, that's what mm. people were saying at least so nobody liked the fact that julia's character was done this way Hmm. nobody i couldn't find one person yeah, who was appreciative of the hmm. fact that julia's character was done this way random otaku is just hmm. going absolutely in serious yeah. why it's it's a bit was a bad I idea i agree hmm. julia wasn't exactly the i wouldn't say main focus but he was she was like the like final goal for both yeah Vicious but see the Spike. the thing is the biggest problem is julia was supposed to be like this person who managed to escape the syndicate as well and they didn't want to show her to be this weak person i guess and so they made her like the big brains behind everything which is not great this the story was being uh, this thing produced uh, along with the main creator right uh, watanabe was there yeah he, but i don't think i don't think he was producing i don't know if it's like i just i don't know how involved he was, he was. consulting yeah. it i think he was a consultant maybe uh, but he he definitely didn't have too much of a say in this Okay because what about, what it's clear music music scored dude music Yoko was the was yeah music was yoka kana yeah. and the seed bell so music was fine there was ah, literally so no problem legend. that way mm-hmm. so okay that's nice mm-hmm. yeah and another couple of things is uh, spike is called fearless by everybody that was his name and then he okay. changed it to spike spiegel after he left the syndicate apparently which again makes no sense because julia and vicious know him as spike in the yeah uh, that's anime true. but he's called fearless and the number of times like i i saw this so many times and i was thinking the exact same thing the number of times they say fearless makes you want to shoot yourself <laughs> at one point vicious is like fearless on the call yeah in the car yeah, i remember <laughs> yeah and then he's <laughs> sitting he's sitting in a car and spike takes a sniper gun and shoots vicious trying to hurt him like he's like scaring him off by shooting his bulletproof glass <laughs> I'm like why the fuck does Spike have a freaking op over here like 3 360 no scope this ass over there but he didn't scope Describing it it legit sounds like a hindi soap opera oh my god we're talking about it, it kind of does joking. pan out like that yeah, yeah it's it's very dramatic it's very very dramatic mm-hmm. even the fourth 